What's going on, everybody? Thank you for stopping by this random channel, so keep that in mind. I don't do sports predictions often, but I do... Well, sports in general I don't do it often, so... Um, it's a random channel, so... All right, I'll get started. Colorado State 2023 the Gridiron Football Predictions. Now... Washington State, they open up with at home. So I think this is going to be a, a two-touchdown game. I think Washington State will win this game. Sorry, Colorado State fans. I think Jay Norvell is the coach. I think it's his like second or third, maybe his third year, maybe even more. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, you can't. I, sometimes it's hard to keep track of time, you know. And uh, but yeah. Jay Norvell, I think, is the coach there. Yeah, it's uh, going on his... I know it's not quite been uh, five years, but I know it's... It may, may have been, but might be. He was coach at Nevada before Colorado State. And then... Okay, so they open up with... Uh, on the road at Colorado, rival Colorado. Deion Sanders' squad, or first-year coach. Uh, they that'll be a close game. I think a lot of people think Colorado's gonna be, you know, they're honestly Colorado's probably not gonna be that great. But Colorado State, I don't think is gonna be that great this year. I'd, I'd like to see them. You know, you never logically. I mean, looking at it, they're not gonna go twelve and zero. You know, plus a con I don't think they're gonna win their conference or even make the conference championship game. But I think they'll go 0-2 at this point, and then they, then they play at Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee has been an uh, improved team. Uh, gosh, I just I wish I could say. Uh, and again, this just again another disclaimer. This is just a prediction, and I'm not making millions of dollars like some analysts to tell you what they think. So I'm just this is free, but maybe just a little entertainment you can have, you know. 0-3. Very well could win that game. And they could easily start 3-0. You know, you just never know. That's why they play the game. Then Utah Utah Tech, uh, they should be able to win that game. And, uh, again, you, you never know. Utah Tech's an FCS team, I think. Maybe they're, maybe they're a Division two, But they should handily win that, win that game handily. Against Utah Tech, one and three. Then at Utah State, Utah State, not Utah Tech, Utah State. That you know, I don't, I don't remember a lot on what they did last year. I mean, that's how I base it on. I mean, I don't, you know, you, you just don't. They were six and seven. And they beat Colorado State by four points look like last year, 17 to 13. And again, of course, you don't uh you can't really compare. Wow, they got crushed by last Sacramento State last year. A good one double A team. So at this point, I you know what? Let's let's call that a win at Utah to Utah State. Uh, they're two and three at this point. Then Boise State comes to Fort Collins. I think Boise State crushed them last year, but you know, it's gonna be a close game. But I see Boise State winning that game. Uh, two and four, halfway points of the season, uh, the record or um, games wise, anyway. So at UNLV, three and four, they'll beat UNLV. Air Force comes into town. And, gosh, I, I think this will be a, a, a good game, but I think Air Force is going to win 3-5. and five. Then they play at Wyoming. The Cowboys, 4-5. and five. They, they get a win. They, they uh, win a really close game. Turnovers might play a key. It might be... By that time, you never know. It might be a bunch of snow on the ground. You know? 
San Diego State at home. San Diego State's not a bad program. They've, they've been consistently. I get they got nice uniforms. I think San Diego State has pretty sweet uniforms, at least. But that's not going to help you win games, of course. But why not? Say they win five and five. They play at home. Then Nevada. They beat Nevada. They're six and five. <laughs> and then they play at Hawaii. They get the W at Hawaii. Let's go seven and five. Seven and five. And they don't get into a they don't they barely miss out in the Mountain West. Well, Mountain West, I don't know who's gonna be in that, but I don't know if they go by divisions. I, uh, I know the Pac-12 last year went by just the two best teams. And it was both Pac-12 South teams, USC and Utah. So I don't know how they do that, but I don't think they're going to make the conference championship game. But I say 7-5. and five. And I'm being generous when I, when I predict this, but hey, it's a prediction. You know, why not? Colorado State, I've always liked. There has always been a top five program that I like. And I predict that they have a better record than Colorado, even though they don't beat Colorado. So there might be a um, a moral victory in that. They get have a better record than Colorado, even though Colorado, they play in a tougher conference. Seven and five, and they get into a bowl game. Hey, if that happens, that's pretty good. You never know. That's why it's a, it's, and it's a prediction. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.